Hello everybody, I'm Kelly from Earthly Delights. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I wanna go over the nine items that sold over the weekend. We've been running a Memorial Day sale and we just decided to keep that running because we have a lot of merchandise that has been sitting and we wanna move that for the new merchandise that we wanna bring in. So I'm gonna go over those nine items, what we bought them for, what we, what we made on them and pull those and get those packed and shipped. And then I want to show you the last two weeks and some of the highlights of what we sold. And so let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, Melissa's gonna join us for pack and ship. Morning, everyone. All right, let's do it. All right, what let's do go. we have first? Uh, first up, we've got vintage gizmo. Okay. Great, we just got an offer on something as we hold that. Oh, oh look, there he is. is. So here he is. Here's the man. Next up, we have. Okay, an espresso. From our little foray into uh, retail arbitrage. <clears throat> I don't know that we're really cut out for arbitrage, but given that we're new resellers, I think we're just trying a lot of different yeah, things. We've been trying a lot of things on for size. And this is the large one. We had gotten large and small. Yeah, we so go. we paid uh, $13 for. For this one and it went for 30 80 on sale okay 30 plus shipping mm -hmm. oh this was kind of fun the pyrex bake around can you see can you see it oh sorry got it uh i think i see oh, it right there it as you can see we have so much stuff to list and oh okay <laughs> We have so much to list, mm -hmm. and here's the Pyrex. Oh, these are yep. the Aventry headphones. That was uh -huh. from our personal collection. Okay. You used it briefly. Oh, yep, and it's right in, it's in six. Here. Yep. There okay. you go. All right. Uh, okay, it's an Obey t-shirt for $7. And that is in O. Oh. This t-shirt we bought for $4, and I think this is an example of something we probably could have left behind. Yeah. Um, given that we only sold it for $7, that's not really a good profit. Next we mixing have this bowl. copper, yeah, egg white mi mixing bowl, right. So we paid $6 for it. Mm -hmm. I, I just put it right there. Oh, excellent. Yeah. All right. We, yeah, we paid six six for that, and we sold it for twenty three twenty three dollars. So next we have this uh, Star Wars Alliance hoodie, and we paid six dollars for it at the Goodwill, yeah. and it sold for twenty one. Yeah, that was a good find. New with tags. That's good because the bulky items, like the sweatshirts and sweaters, we really want to move. We those. really need to move them. Is this it? Yeah. We're just like really running out of space, just to give you like the full picture. Yeah. Buffett. You know, I used to get really excited when I found them. I think that I thought they were worth more than they are. What did it sell for? 15 which is still good. I'm sure we paid probably $4 for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's fine. But I thought it was going to go for like 35 it, Very bottom. Um, oh, yeah, it's a tall tax. That's yeah. just, yeah. Uh-huh. You don't have to unfold. Oh, I think this one might have had a little funny thing oh, with it. 1997. 97. No, it's, it's not single stitch. It's not single stitch. So we got this at the Goodwill for $4. It sold for 7 Again, another example of a t-shirt we probably should have left behind just because, you know, prepping it, taking pictures of it, listing it takes a lot of our time it's and really it's it not worth it. No, it's not worth it. But, um, yeah. So at least we're moving it though at yeah. this point, right? That feels and good. It's going to someone who will enjoy it. Yeah. Charlie, Charlie sleeping. It's a really hot day in in New York. Oh, look at this. I think Charlie wants this. It's not a chew toy though, Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to someone else. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> Melissa and I just finished. 
pack and ship and so now what I want to do is just go through the last two weeks and some of the highlights of sales that we had on eBay. So I wanted to start with some t-shirts and we found this uh, mountain t-shirt and we paid four dollars for it at the Goodwill and it just sold for twenty-two dollars and forty cents plus shipping. We've sold quite a few Mountain Tees and they don't always sell for much but oftentimes when they're vintage and 90s which I think this is uh, you can get more money for it. Um, the next t-shirt is this uh, vintage Firewriters New York City tee. Um, it was uh, very loved. It had a few stains on it and also was thin but it's just such a cool piece of history and a really cool graphic and so we sold that t-shirt for $70 and Melissa paid I think three for it at Savers. The next is this Johnny Cash t-shirt. I bought three cash tees at the Goodwill recently. Someone must have been donating their collection and I wasn't really sure how much this was going to end up selling for. I kind of did it as a test and I thought it was a cool t-shirt. It is double-sided and it also has um, the date 2004 so it's a little bit older good 16 17 years old and so i decided to take a chance and it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping and we paid four dollars for it the next item are these uh, gap shorts and i think they're from the 90s given the cut and i just really like the color they were four dollars and we sold them for 24.50 the next item is this suede vintage varsity jacket. It was actually an international sale and we bought it at the Goodwill for $10 and we sold it for $56. And we've had this listed for a good six months and it was getting some, some attention but no one was really biting and so once we ran the Memorial Day sale, um, this item and some other items uh, because I think the price was better, better um, it ended up selling. So we were happy with that. The next item is this really cool Zara um, embroidered all over print sweatshirt. And I found this at Savers for $6 and it sold for $56 plus shipping. And the next item is this Filson corduroy button down shirt. Filson's an outdoor company and this shirt retails over $200. We found this at the Goodwill for $6 and it sold for $70. We had it listed for $80 and someone made us an offer of $70 and we decided to take it. Um, so if you're a reseller, um, this is a good tag to look out for, this, this Filson tag. Or if you're just shopping for yourself, it's a, it's a nice quality brand. Next is this uh, glass fishing float and we've sold quite a few of these. Um, the longer kind of like ones that are smaller in, in a sort of chain of them and then we've also sold these individual fishing floats. Uh, we recently sold a green one like this uh, for $36 and we paid like three bucks for it. This one does have some issues with the, um, the jute string that's, that's um, netted around it. So we had listed it for 26 and we took a best offer of $18.20 and we paid $2 for it. The next item is this set of vintage Pyrex bowls and this was actually the first time that I had found Pyrex at the Goodwill. I was very excited about it. We paid $10 for these. I'll put the video up where we, we found those and we took a best offer of $60. We had them listed for $80. The next item is this uh, Threshold, which is a Target brand, these uh, decorative beads, um, garland, and we bought two sets of these at the Goodwill for $8 each, and the first one we sold for $56. This one, because we were running it during the sale, we sold it for $38.50. So the next item is this vintage Tanala Owl and we find quite a few of these Tanala pieces at the Goodwill and also estate sales. If the price is right, which almost always it is at the Goodwill, I'll, 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 I'll never pass them up. I really like this pottery. We sell quite a bit of the Tanala pieces, uh, animal figures, and they sell well 
and they're just really, really sweet pieces. Next is this vintage clay hand-painted cup, and it's Uriarte Talavera from Puebla, Mexico, and it was a dollar. I found it at the Goodwill, and I almost passed it up because it was a single, and I'm just really trying to bring less individual mugs into my life and, and into uh, and, and having to list those, but this was just really beautiful, really special. Uh, I got it home and looked up comps and decided to list it for $18. I paid 99 cents for it and it sold within a couple of days. So I think it must be, um, I think it must be something that people look out for and collect. The next is a Illy coffee mug and I bought this for 59 cents at the Goodwill and it actually sold to somebody in Hawaii so they paid a lot of shipping on this so I think the total sale was like $39 and um, you know we didn't we didn't see quite that much we only saw like $13 on it okay next is another mug it's an Apple computers mug and we bought this at, an, at a, we bought this at an estate sale for probably 50 cents or a dollar and it sold for $14 plus shipping Apple mugs tend to sell really well. We sold an Apple mug uh, when we first started eBay for $34. So th that's something that I look out for. The next mug is this dragon mug that we bought at the Goodwill for 59 cents and it sold for $12.60 plus shipping. And it's double-sided. It has you know information about the red dragon, just a, just a cool ceramic mug. And next is this Murder, She Wrote mystery puzzle. Uh, we bought it for $5 at Savers and it sold for $18.20 plus shipping. We made sure that it had all of the pieces. Melissa's dad, uh, actually, he puts together a lot of puzzles and so we've actually put him to work. And when we find cool puzzles, we ask him if he's interested in putting it together. And then, um, so he put this together, saw that it was complete. You don't get to see what the image is before you put it together. It's like solving the mystery. And then lastly is this Kiki's Delivery Service. I actually found this DVD last week and I paid $2 for it at the Goodwill and sold it for 40 bucks. Those are the highlights for the last couple of weeks and so I think we'll stop there. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. And we can't wait to see you for the next video.